Hi friends, uh, let us see in this video very good questions uh, from your APPSC and TSPSC assistant motor vehicle inspector point of view examination examination point of view so let us see some basic and good questions which are really testing your concept okay so let us see so wherever possible i will give the explanations but uh, if uh, some explanation is not given please try and uh, try to get the answers so definitely we will see in the future videos okay right so match list one with list two uh, the select the correct answer using the codes given below list right so here cycles operating between a fixed temperature limits is a given are given uh, to be auto cycle a diesel cycle carnot cycle and breton cycle now you have to match the list these cycles with the characteristics of cycle efficiency that means n okay so here this first one is uh, efficiency depends upon only temperature limits that means minimum and maximum temperature limits efficiency depends only on pressure limits minimum and maximum temperature minimum pressure is normally atmospheric pressure and maximum temperature depends upon the amount of compression and also amount of heat added next n depends upon efficiency depends upon the volume compression ratio there are two types of compression ratios one is the volume compression ratio and other one is the pressure compression ratio volume compression ratio is the volume before compression to the volume of after compression but whereas pressure ratio uh, pressure compression ratio is the pressure after compression to the the ratio of the pressure after compression to the pressure before compression so actually before because actually volume uh, decreases after compression and pressure increases after compression that's why they are different like that so now you have to match a3 b4 c1 d2 or is it a1 b4 c3 d2 or a3 b4 b2 c1 d4 or a1 b2 c3 d4 so please uh, so here please uh, think it over and basically so whether which cycle in which cycle it is going to depend upon the temperature limits or pressure limits or uh, volume compression ratio or uh, volume compression ratio cutoff ratio right so definitely cutoff ratio and volume compression ratio are both are important in case of diesel cycle and uh, volume compression ratio in case of auto cycle and temperature uh, limits in carnot cycle and definitely pressure limits on the breton cycle you can accordingly choose the answer next uh, match list one the ts diagram so here he has given the ts diagram and he is asking you to compare or he is asking you to match the names of the cycles in the second list so list one is ts diagram list two is the names of the cycles so here he is given so ts diagram is something like this so one to two that means reverse adiabatic uh, compression then heat addition then expansion then heat rejection so similarly b cycle is given c cycle is given and also d cycle is given so please observe them carefully and uh, you can easily uh, locate so what is the correct answer so list 2 has given breton cycle uh, auto cycle sterling cycle ericsson cycle and diesel cycle so in the breton cycle uh, so definitely so you have to actually this is not the pressure uh, pv diagram this is the ts diagram so ts diagram so definitely 1 to 2 is in breton cycle is the reversible adiabatic compression so 2 to 3 is constant pressure heat addition 3 to 4 is reversible adiabatic expansion and 4 to 1 is the constant pressure heat rejection so please try to compare so definitely you should not compare you should not confuse between the uh, ts diagram and pv diagram right so here there are uh, some uh, diagrams look like they are the pv diagram okay corresponding to their uh, shape on the ts diagram so be careful while matching so is it a1 b4 c5 d2 or a1 b3 c4 d5 or a2 b4 c4 d1 or a2 b3 c4 d1 so next question match list one name of the cycles with the list two pv diagram so in the earlier cycle has given the uh, ts diagram and in this cycle he is giving the pv diagram actually boys uh, these uh, bits are selected from good books excellent books for your practice for your ama examination so please practice and so that you can improve upon your subject knowledge so a is the starting cycle diesel cycle auto cycle and atkinson cycle okay so here he has given the pv diagram so in the pv diagram so 1 to 2 2 3 3 3 4 4 1 so definitely so what is this diagram i think this is your uh, right so this is your uh, pv diagram first one is uh, a is i think it is auto cycle right so this is your uh, second one let us check it okay so next thing is oh this one third one uh, again this is uh, this should be definitely a diesel cycle and this is your uh, breton cycle okay so accordingly choose the 
cycle this one is your uh, atkinson cycle so the last, last one is atkinson cycle right so even if you know uh, four okay uh, that means uh, matchings between list one list two so you can easily uh, identify the answer even if you don't know one answer among the five answers or four answers so if you know the other three or four answers you can easily uh, 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 select the correct choice right that is the advantage of your multiple choice questions so this is nothing but your uh, continuation uh, right so 1 2 3 4 diagrams are given so here the list is given so a2 b3 c1 d5 and a1 b3 c2 d5 and a2 b3 c1 d4 and a1 d b3 c2 d1 right next question for the same uh, maximum pressure and heat input the most efficient cycle is so i was telling you in my earlier videos also right except when the compression ratio is involved okay uh, if for all other uh, types of parameters and uh, like heat added like uh, maximum pressure heat input and work output or whatever it is right so unless otherwise you find some uh, some parameter related to compression ratio for all those cycles so diesel cycle is the highest efficient cycle and next use your dual cycle and next you are auto cycle so definitely for maximum pressure and heat input so the most efficient cycle is the diesel cycle that is the answer your b is the answer next question this is your uh, in an air standard cycle r is the compression ratio and gamma is the adiabatic index which is the cp by cv ratio so what is the cp value for air it is 1.005 kilojoules per kg kelvin and cv is equal to 0.717 kilojoules per kg kelvin and r is equal to cp minus cv that is equal to 1.005 minus 0.717 that is 0.287 kilojoules per kg kelvin so he is asking the air standard cycle efficiency in terms of the r and gamma so uh, what is the correct answer uh, efficiency is equal to 1 minus 1 by r to the power of gamma minus 1 or efficiency is equal to 1 minus 1 by r to the power of gamma or is it uh, efficiency is equal to 1 minus 1 by r to the power of gamma minus 1 by gamma or is it that efficiency is equal to 1 minus 1 by r to the power of gamma minus 1 by 2 gamma so we know that uh, the air standard uh, auto cycle efficiency is equal to 1 minus 1 by r to the power of gamma minus 1 where r is the compression ratio and gamma is the ratio of specific heats if you see this type of bits which are very very confusing for your all your competitive examinations so only one parameter or one element is changed here if you see here so what he is changing here he is actually changing the power of the r that means the compression ratio in terms of the gamma that is the ratio of the cp by cv values right next question in an air standard cycle uh, r is the compression ratio and rho is the fuel cutoff ratio and gamma is the adiabatic index uh, its air standard efficiency is given by so diesel cycle definitely you know that cutoff ratio is going to play a very very important role so rho is the cutoff ratio and gamma is the adiabatic index and of course r is the compression ratio so here in diesel cycle both compression ratio and also fuel cutoff ratio are rho are going to play a very very important role right if i remember correctly so i think the answer is the this one okay first one is the correct answer if i am not wrong okay please check it once again but definitely n is equal to 1 minus 1 by r to the power of uh, gamma into r to the power of gamma uh, rho to the power of gamma minus 1 by rho minus 1 okay right so please once again check right next question is an auto cycle with air as the working fluid has a compression ratio of 8.2 under cold air standard conditions the thermal efficiency of this cycle so we know that the thermal efficiency of an auto cycle is equal to 1 minus 1 by r to the power of gamma minus 1 so because he has given air as the cycle air as the working fluid you can take cp by cv is equal to gamma that is equal to 1.005 by 0.717 that gives 1.4 so gamma for that means the ratio of specific heats at constant pressure and constant volume for air you can take it as 1.4 and substitute the efficiency is equal to 1 minus 1 by r to the power of gamma minus 1 that means n is equal to 1 minus 1 by 8.2 to the power of 1.4 minus 1 that means that gives me efficiency is equal to efficiency is equal to 1 minus 1 by 8.2 to the power of 0.4 so if you simplify whatever the answer you get that should be the answer so you may be getting around uh, some uh, 43 percent also so but anyhow uh, please check it okay so i have uh, told you the method okay i have told you the formula to calculate the your efficiency air standard efficiency 1 minus 1 by r to the power of gamma minus 1 gamma is equal to 1.4 and r is equal to 8.2 please substitute and get the value and you can easily set the correct answer right next question for specified limits for maximum and minimum temperatures the ideal cycle with the lowest thermal efficiency so what is the so here you have to actually check the answer correct answer i think carnot cycle must be having the highest uh, 
my uh, must be the highest efficiency because it is a reversible cycle so any reversible cycle between the two fixed temperatures will have the highest efficiency that is according to the carnot theorems right so carnot cycle will have definitely the maximum efficiency so you have to choose between the sterling ericsson and otto so i think the answer is between sterling and otto uh, ericsson so please check the answer okay so this is how we have actually um, seen the answers and how to analyze the questions for your Ascend motor vehicle inspector examination and the type in which they are given and how they are going to confuse us. Okay. So, in the next video, we are going to meet with a very nice, in the next video, we are going to meet with another nice topic which is involving your syllabus for your assistant motor vehicle inspector, uh, APPSC and DSPSC syllabus. Okay, guys. See you all once again. See you in a good video. Once again, all the best and wish you good luck.